Alat, also spelled Alatu, Alalat, Alat, and Al Lat Arabic, Alat pronounced Al I La T U is a name and title used to refer to multiple goddesses worshipped in the ancient Near East, including the Semitic goddesses Ashura and Atharat. More importantly, it refers to the pre-Islamic Arabian goddess worshipped alongside Manat and Al Uzza throughout the entire peninsula, including Mecca. According to Islamic sources, the tribe of Banu Thaqif in Taif especially holds reverence to her. Under Greco-Roman influence, her iconography began to show the attributes of Athena, the Greek goddess of war, as well as her Roman equivalent Minerva. In Islamic tradition, her worship ended when her shrine in Taif was demolished on the orders of Muhammad. Etymology and name There are two possible etymologies of the name al lat The etymology best reflecting the Arab lexicographical tradition derives the name from the verb lata to mix or knead barley meal. It has also been associated with the idol of jealousy, erected in the Temple of Jerusalem according to the Book of Ezekiel, which was offered an oblation of barley meal by the husband who suspected his wife of infidelity. It can be inferred from al kalbis Book of Idols that a similar ritual was practiced in the vicinity of the idol of al lat The second etymology, which is more in line with Semitic traditions in general, takes al lat to be the feminine form of Allah, with the original, pre-reduction masculine and feminine forms being therefore al ila and al alat respectively. As a title The word al lat was used as a name and title for multiple pre-Islamic goddesses of Arabia and was used for either a wife of Allah or a daughter depending on the region. It has been hypothesized that Alat is the consort of Allah based on the fact that it is typical of deities in that area of the world to have consorts. It was used as a title for the goddesses Asherah and Atharat. The word is akin to Elit, which was the name of the wife of the Semitic deity El, especially in older sources. Alit is an alternative name of the Mesopotamian goddess of the underworld, now usually known as Erishkagal. She was reportedly also venerated in Carthage under the name Alatu. <laughs> Attestations <laughs> Pre Islamic era Al Lot was worshipped throughout Arabia, and her cult reached as far as Syria. From Saphetic and Hismaic inscriptions, it is probable that she was worshipped as Lot. Lt. In Saphetic inscriptions, Al Lot was invoked for solitude and mercy. She was expected to bring well being, ease, and prosperity. Travelers would invoke her for good weather and protection. She was also invoked for vengeance, booty from raids, and infliction of blindness and lameness to anyone who defaces the inscriptions. The Greek historian Herodotus, writing in the 5th century BC, considered her the equivalent of Aphrodite. The Assyrians call Aphrodite Mylita, the Arabians Alalit, Greek spelling, Alalit and the Persians Mithra. Herodotus acknowledged Alalit to be the equivalent of Aphrodite Urania. According to Herodotus, the ancient Arabians believed in only two gods. They believe in no other gods except Dionysus and the heavenly Aphrodite, and they say that they wear their hair as Dionysus does his, cutting it round the head and shaving the temples. They call Dionysus, Oridult, and Aphrodite, Alalit. All Lot's worship in South Arabia was not popular. She was not the object of an organized cult, with two amulets inscribed, Lot, on one, Laton. On the other being the only indication that this goddess received worship, Al Lot was worshipped the most in northern Arabia. The Kedarites, a northern Arabian tribal confederation, seemed to also worship Al Lot, as evidenced by a silver bowl dedicated by a Kedarite king, with the goddess name inscribed on it. The Nabataeans and the people of Hatra also worshipped Al Lot, equating her with the Greek goddesses Athena and Taish and the Roman goddess Minerva. She is frequently called the Great Goddess in Greek in multilingual inscriptions. The Nabataeans regarded al Lot as the mother of the deities, and her family relations vary, sometimes she is regarded as the consort of Dushara, other times she is regarded as the mother of Dushara. Nabataean inscriptions state her as well as al Uzza as the brides of Dushara. According to Wellhausen, the Nabataeans believed al Lot was the mother of Hubal and hence the mother-in-law of Manat. Al Lot was also venerated in Palmyra, which housed an Arab population, and there her temple had no signs of blood rituals. 
The practice of casting divination arrows, a common divination method in Arabia, was attested in her temple, an honorific inscription mentioning a basin of silver for casting lots leak. By the 2nd century AD, she began to be portrayed in the style of Athena, and was referred to as Athena Alit, but this assimilation does not extend beyond its iconography. A famous statue that once adorned her temple there was the Lion of al Lot, once damaged by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant ISIL, but has been since restored. Topic. Islamic era In Islamic sources discussing pre-Islamic Arabia, al Lot is attested as the chief goddess of the Banu Thaqif tribe. She was said to be venerated in Taif, where she was called Ar Rabbah the Lady. She reportedly had a shrine there which was decorated with ornaments and treasure of gold and onyx. There, the goddess was venerated in the form of a cubic rock. The area around the shrine was sacred, no trees could be felled, no animal hunted and no human blood can be shed. Al Lot is also mentioned in pre-Islamic Arab poetry, which were belatedly put into writing. She was alluded by al mutalamis in his satire of Amr ibn Hind. A poem by the pre-Islamic monotheist Zayd ibn Amr mentions al Lot, along with al Uzza and Hubal. al Lot was also called as daughter of Allah along with the other two chief goddesses al Uzza and Manat. According to the Book of Idols by Hisham ibn al-Kalbi, the pre-Islamic Arabs believed al Lot resided in the Kaaba and also had an idol inside the sanctuary. Her custody was in the hands of the Banu Atab ibn Malik of the Thaqif, who had built an edifice over her. The Quraysh, as well as all the Arabs, venerated al Lot. They also used to name their children after her, calling them Zayd al Lot and Taim al Lot. Al Lot continued to be venerated until the Thaqif embraced Islam, when Muhammad dispatched al Mughira ibn Shuba, who destroyed her and burnt her temple to the ground. In the Quran, she is mentioned along with al Uzza and Manat in Surah 53 19 23, a verse that became the subject of the alleged satanic verses. The tribe of Ad of Aram of the Pillars is also mentioned in Surah 89-5-8, and archaeological evidence from Aram shows copious inscriptions devoted to her for the protection of a tribe by that name. According to Islamic tradition, the shrine dedicated to Al Lot in Taif was demolished on the orders of Muhammad, during the expedition of Abu Sufyan ibn Harb, in the same year as the Battle of Tabak, which occurred in October 630 AD. The destruction of the idol was a demand by Muhammad before he would allow any reconciliation to take place with the tribes of Taif, who were under his siege. Topic: <laughs> Scholarly interpretations. F. V. Winnet saw Al Lot as a lunar deity due to association of a crescent with her in Ein Esh and a Leonite inscription mentioning the name of Wad over the title of F. K. L. Lieutenant. René Dassault and Gonzag Rickmans linked her with Venus while others have thought her to be a solar deity. John F. Healy considers al Uzza actually might have been an epithet of al Lot before becoming a separate deity in Meccan pantheon. Redefining Dionysus considers she might have been a god of vegetation or a celestial deity of atmospheric phenomena and a sky deity. Iconography <inaudible> <inaudible> In Taif, Al Lot's primary idol is a cubic stone, which according to the Book of Idols, is associated with a Jew who prepares his barley porridge. Early Palmyrene depictions of Al Lot share iconographical traits with a Targatus when seated and a Stardi when standing. The lion of Al Lot that once adorned her temple depicts a lion and a gazelle, the lion representing her consort, and the gazelle representing Al Lot's tender and loving traits, as bloodshed was not permitted under Al Lot's retaliation. Al Lot was associated with the Greek goddess Athena and by extension, the Roman Minerva in Nabataea, Hatra and Palmyra. It seems that her identification with Athena was only a mere change in iconography, and Al Lot's character noticeably softened the warlike Athena in places where she was equated with. One Nabataean relief of Athena Al Lot depicts the goddess bearing both Athena and Al Lot's attributes. The relief depicts the goddess in the style of Athena, but having a stylized square face resembling Nabataean eye idols in place of the Gorgonian, Al Lot was closely related with Al Uzza, and in some regions of the Nabataean kingdom, both Al Lot and Al Uzza were said to be the same goddess. John F. Healy believes that Al Lot and Al Uzza originated as a single goddess, which parted ways in the pre-Islamic Meccan tradition. 
Susan Krona suggests that both Alad and Al Uzza were uniquely fused in Central Arabia. In popular culture In Frank Herbert's Dune series, Al Lot is the name given to the Earth's sun. Multiple allusions, references, and parallels are in Salman Rushdie's The Satanic Verses. See also List of pre Islamic Arabian deities, Hubal, Manat, Chabu, Satanic Verses, Banu Thaqif ILAH Topic Notes Topic References <references>